Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial on Design Spark Mechanical, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the text tool or how to add text. Now, normally if I'm adding text to a model that I've created, I use Corel Draw because I just find that it's easy. But you can also add text in Design Spark if you need to. So we'll go ahead and create a we'll create a drawing in inches. Go ahead and get the rectangle tool. We'll define from center. And we'll just do a business card size 3.5. And then on the height, we'll type 2. We're going to go ahead and select pull. You're going to spin this a little bit. And then we're going to pull this 0.0625 to a 16th. And then we're going to click this face, go back to plan view. Now we're going to go, we're going to come over here to this little uh, dimension text. We're going to click on the side there. And then we're going to move this to the center. We're going to use this as our text. So we'll double click and we'll put in uh, business cards. Okay, this is going to be our uh, we'll right mouse click right here. We could uh, change um, we could change size. This is 0.1. We could go up to 0.4. It's a little too big. 0.24. That's good. We can make it bold. Uh, we can change the uh, font type. We put in Swiss black. Uh, then we want to go ahead and click off of that. We want to click this, double click till everything is blue, and then we want to select this project. And we want to click here. Um, okay, sometimes you got to do it a couple times, so we'll click that. Project, project to there. And now, when you start seeing these little green areas, then you know it's where you want to be. So. And at that point, we can delete these little lines. We'll go ahead and spin. Uh, we'll drag a marquee around this. And then we'll go ahead and pull. Now what you're going to have to do is the same as when I do the text in Corel Draw, is you will have to zoom in. And then you'll have to go and get rid of these. So we'll just get select. Go ahead and control, hold down the, oops. Actually, we need to select the outside ones and so not delete. So go, we'll just go do this one letter at a time. So hold down the control. Hold down the control key and just get these. Okay, now we'll go ahead and spin. Now we want to select pull, and then we're ready to pull this. We'll go point. There we go. Oh, it looks like we missed this one. So we'll go back to pull. That's weird, it's not wanting to pull that one out. Hmm. Looks like it's got some funky lines in there. Let's get our trim away. See if we can trim those away. Alright, well it messed up that uh, end, but you get the general idea. So that's how you would add uh, text to a uh, file in uh, Design Sparks. Let's go ahead and repeat that one more time so it's easy to understand. Let's undo. Okay, we'll go back to the beginning where we created our base. Uh, you want to go ahead and grab this tool here, which is the dimensions. 
You want to click, drag your dimension to the center, and you want to double click so everything's highlighted, and then you want to type in your business cards, whatever your text you want to have in there. This looks like a good size here. Go ahead and move this. Grab our move tool. Move that to the center. Now you want to select the text. Click on project. Click on this body here. You might have to do it a couple times. Select. Project. Okay, now we got it. I'll go ahead and get rid of these. Um, now we need to select what we want to extrude. Go ahead and hold the control key down. Just go slow and make sure that you get the actual letters and not the uh, not the lines. Okay, we'll go ahead and rotate this. We'll select pull. Okay, it looks like there's something wrong with that end, but I'm not going to worry about it. We'll come out 0 0.60 inches. That's how you add text in uh, Design Sparks. Looks like that uh, these little pieces here are messed up. Perhaps we can just delete them. Let's zoom in, Control Plus. Yeah, it's these are two little lines that are a problem. Sometimes that happens in Design Spark, but you can usually fix it. I think we came out to 0 0.60. Okay, right there. Okay, that's going to be how you add uh, text in Design Spark Mechanical. If you don't have Corel Draw and you don't want to do it that way, then you can go ahead and do it in. Uh, Design Sparks. You just need to add, use your dimension tool. You need to specify the type of font that you want, whether you want it bold, whether you want it regular, and then you uh, change the text to what you want it to read, like business cards. Uh, you specify size, and then you want to use your project. You want to select the text, then you want to select project and click on this thing here because it's projecting it from this face. Then sometimes you got to do it twice, so you'll have to go back and select text, uh, project body, and then click the face here. Uh, and you know that you've done it correctly when you see when these little openings are green. Then you want to go through and select just the outer edge of the text, not the inside. And then you want to give your uh, extrusion depth. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of this video. Okay, thanks again for watching.